I'm here with uh, Frank Felber from Starmark Incorporated. You mentioned you're out of San Diego, right? Yes. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your company? And uh, Well, it's a small company. Um, it's been around close to 20 years, and um, uh, we do research and development, mostly for government, mostly for uh, military defense sciences, that sort of thing. But we have worked for National Institutes of Health, and uh, other organizations. Oh, okay. Well, in, in terms of the kind of stuff that you develop, what are some of your, your past projects? Um, well, what I'm working on right now is uh, um, an Air Force program. Uh, and we're doing it here locally at Sandia National Laboratories. Uh, we're working with the Sandia folks to uh, get uh, more X-ray production from um, uh, their Saturn accelerator, which is a big pulse power machine that simulates nuclear weapons. Oh, okay. okay. So definitely kind of the hard physics stuff. Now, are, are you here just for Section F, or are you kind of just floating through the conference? Oh, no. Uh, section, <coughs> session F is uh, by far the most interesting session to me, and I'm really having a good time here listening to these very creative <coughs> and innovative papers. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I've been surprised at some of the papers that are coming out. So It's a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, in, in terms of your favorite uh, presentation so far, ones that you're looking forward to in the future, what are some of the things that are really kind of striking you in terms of things to watch? Um, I'm looking forward to hearing um, some of the papers that on uh, and using Mach's principle to uh, get propulsion. Uh, to me, that's really interesting. And I've been looking at that myself for 15 years, and in fact, that's how I stumbled on uh, this new solution of Einstein's equation uh, for masses that are moving at relativistic speeds. And seems to show a repulsive force or anti-gravity when the source of the gravity is moving relativistically. Oh, okay. So this is a paper that you're presenting then at this conference? Yes, presenting oh, awesome. it um, momentarily. Oh, so you're on today. Yes. Okay. No, no, no last minute reservations or worries, right? Nope. <laughs> yeah, well, public speaking can be kind of tough. But, but, yeah. Well, so now relativistic mass then changes gravity, you're saying? Uh, yes, when a mass uh, moves faster than 57.7% of the speed of light, it turns out that ahead of that mass, um, there's actually a repulsive force as observed by uh, uh, a distant observer. Mm. Now, do you think this might translate into actual propulsion applications further down the road? Um, definitely it would. Uh, in fact, that's the subject of my paper here this morning. I'm going to be showing how... Uh, a payload can be propelled to close to the speed of light within the anti-gravity field of uh, a large speeding mass. Mm, so it almost sounds in some ways similar to the Alcube air drive, kind of. Uh, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing that paper this morning as well. Uh, I'm not that familiar with it myself, though. Yeah, yeah. Interesting stuff. Well, thanks again for your time, Frank, and, and good luck in your presentation. Thanks, Tim.